you got sweet crepes, but then you got savory crepes. Hello everyone, my name is Minjali Cat, and I'm going to be talking about my second experience at Han experience, which was Anthro, Ohio. It's a con in Ohio that is around May 20. Four through the 26th. This was like my first con ever. That was a four day full con that I've ever attended. So overall, it was genuinely good. Of course, you have those pros and cons about things that you expect to happen. There will be the general public during the daytime that will lead to, you know, incidents that both have a good and a bad result in handling those. This cute little girl is trying to find where the first hit crate was going to line up. I basically directed her just to like where the ballroom was and it was really sweet because it's just really nice seeing the young first and really appreciate a craft even though it was probably from Zootopia but still it's just a, it's just the thought that counts that's really nice. So regarding negative people, drama is not what you're here for for the con. You're here to enjoy yourself and that's exactly kind of the attitude I have. Panels I went to which was Friday? It's definitely the Boz Paws and Tails was just pure chaos. <laughs> okay, I don't mean like pure chaos as you mean everyone was about to throw pitchforks. They were about to. It was about to go down. And by the way, like I think Ma's one, everything about like how everything was organized was all in good fun. And I really admired kind of, you know, the good vibes that I felt from it. And not to mention how Mark Barks literally had all these powerpoints of pause at the very beginning i listened like paw beans have you guys ever felt first shooters and that sounds really weird now i am terribly sorry <laughs> whether it's hugging whether it's like feeling their paw beans if they let you the most important thing is letting you do this not unapproachably like follow people from behind and like pull their tail don't do that. Just don't do that to first suitors. I've been in suit before. Don't do that to first suitors. Okay, that's enough PSA for that. So, the Paws and Moths Tales channel, that was super awesome. And the Q&A with Majira Strawberry. Actually, I was helping somebody out during to find their phone because they wanted to take a picture with Majira. And, you know, listen, I never met Majira, but, like, just basing off of his group and his whole vibe, he seems like a really genuine, sweet guy. That's super, like, laid back. He's, his energy and everything was something that felt like I just wanted to commend upon him. So, Majira is as sweet as a strawberry. That, I think, kind of wraps it up with all the general overview that happened with... Oh, yeah! And then there was the Fox and Peppers concert that I went to. And it was my first time ever seeing them live. was amazing just seeing how like far they've come how good the energy is and realizing why I was kind of afraid for meeting a lot of people for nothing the reason why I'm just kind of way out of my shell now is because ever since I met Tom Fishback I think I'm pretty much good I always say start with the big guys so you start you know like feeling confident that you can talk to like some other people that you really admire on the side whether it's someone that's really popular or like someone that's like you know not really noticed but still commended on their work and this really had me like come out of my shell more and just have fun again like it was just so much things that happened during my college that just trauma it traumatized me with everything and how it just unfolded right in front of my face and how it is drastically changing my life if anyone follows my twitter um it's been it's been a rough it's been a rough years that has happened and i really feel involved and somehow at least help out in some way or the other so i decided to volunteer because um it would help so the positive and the negative views about this is that I got approached by a lot of people their prior meeting 
and fair meets or like first time introductory regarding artists that I've met or even freaking fans that I didn't realize I became instant best friends, wink wonk. And then the negative part of that was, you know, feeling depressed sometimes about how others, you know, like have friends. So in other words, just not sharing my experiences with anyone because of that complexity, because of those complexity levels that I have and I realize on myself, I have complex amount of stories that have layers amongst layers and layers that just don't start with one thing, they lead on to something else. So which is another reason why I kind of want to, you know, like start doing videos because it helps me out. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the personal matters what happened with um the con personally and then we get into the category of fursuit hugs because oh man oh man like fursuit hugs are just 10 out of 10 best hugs ever one of the people that i had helped volunteer with was like the first person to surprise me in giving me a fursuit hug also by the way kai your your suit I was like low key crushing on because God, that suit and everything. And also, you guys know the fox I'm talking about. This cute fox. That cute fox right there. He was part of like a volunteer session. Sweet boyo ever. And what he did was he saw him talking to me with Specky Chicken, which is the person that uh, did fan art of Mangelic. He's pacing back and forth. And then he like uses his gentleman fox way. <laughs> and gave me a hug so just you know thank you um for thank you again for like you know sharing that bit of kindness with me and and then I got to feel the beans because you know oh my god fursuit beans ha ah, that's that's ha ah, they're so ha ah. pause and tails will always be like in my book but thank you Kai for just being a cool volunteer friend and a new fursuiter friend that I've met. So, so let me just explain to you how I was fooled by Beta Edel. Edel. Because you're like the sweetest boyo I think everyone needs to meet. Because holy crap. But then it was like the most highlightable experience I've ever really cherished. Because that hug was just so genuine and fluffy not to mention. That made me question why I was afraid go meet you in the first place i'm sorry i'm just i'm shy i was sitting right beside the silent charity in the registration on saturday of anthro ohio i see a fursuiter in the very corner of my eye also in a very comfy kigu fully walking towards me he was looking at other people's badges and then happens to look at mine he points at my badge really adamantly, and I'm like, yes, this is my badge. And then he just pauses, more like a T-pose, honestly, in discerning dominance. I wouldn't blame you, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> By the way, I was slow beta, I was really tired, and I was comfy, and I had no idea what was going on. I'm also learning that I'm easily bamboozled. So I hugged him, and at first, it didn't register. And at this point, you would have seen the other part of like the whole scene play out because I think that shows more of just how flabbergasted and shy I was from Glitch taking it because immediately after I hug I just murmur like you're really good at hugging without knowing without knowing it was him and then I look over and then I see Glitch and then I see Luminix and I'm like oh my god like I'm if you fooled me good, and having known that I was actually someone that was on the lookout for was just a surprise in of itself. Were you looking for me the whole entire con? Because if you were, I felt really bad of not initiating everything. That's why I wasn't really reacting most of the time, because I was like mostly happy, but also like surprised how I got surprised. <laughs> I do hope that I will return that hug from a friend to another with my own fursuit instead. Just keep being a sweet floaty boy beta because man, that was awesome. Overall, I think I had a very nice and well-cherished time at Anthro, Ohio. I decided to give back to the con, testing my strength and seeing how much I have grown, met up with people I met at the con, along with receiving many types of merch and fan art from people, enjoyed some laughs at the Ma's Paws and Tails panel, cried at the good and the bad little moments, and overall, 
I'm just very much motivated to save up for more cons to attend to so I can keep up that happy, enjoyable, chill spirit going with me. I'm welcoming those who like to meet me. I have had the time also now to really just work on my YouTube channel. And oh boy, I like have a literal checklist planned out for stories and more insight for me to share. Go get something sweet for yourself and thank you for watching. Bye.